Hello everybody and welcome to another FVS episode number two, season three. Got my wine here and we're going to make this show truck along with something that's not so much furry, but furry related. You're going to like this if you have your mobile devices out. Make sure you show your friends. Everybody, and it's great to see you back because you adore me. Let's go ahead and get right into our first video because, well, I don't really think that we're gross. Because according to Kyla Schammer, this video shows us that we're just a bunch of large boobs and, well, yeah, you just watch. How are four kids going to stop me? Persona transformation! Forces on the prowl! Whoa! Why are they so sexy? Hip hop! Crunk! Attack! Uh, they make me really uncomfortable. Attack, you fools! Come on, team! Time to get the fur flying! Ah! Ah! I don't like this! Whew, this one's a little hard to make fun of, mostly because a lot of stuff in the fandom usually is pretty vile, doesn't show us the right way, there's a lot of sex, big boobs and big balls, and that's pretty much what this video is, isn't it? No, but I mean, seriously, they did a great job at representing what the furries kind of are in an exaggerated way, and it didn't really, like, hurt us too much, after all. I mean, we have the line there with the big balls, and we don't have any big balls type of thing going on in the fandom like that. Hmm, new cypher is gonna do something like that. No, really, make sure to watch the entire video in the link below because it is great. Hello there, everybody. I am Japanese cypher. But apparently in Japan, there is some craziness with their TV commercials, as we always know. But this one really kind of pushes that line. Take a look. Wow, this video has some balls. We can see here the weather was a bit nippy. Was this in a bear club? No. That didn't, that didn't do it for you. Let's super analyze this video. I mean, we have here Little Red Riding Hood. We have here uh, the raccoon with big balls. We have the hotel. This is kind of tailored to the fandom a little bit. Just replace Little Red Riding Hood with your con chair of choice. I got my friend Sugar Cat to totally, you know, do his translation of Japanese stuff and he wrote it down. You know him, Sugar Cat Steven right there. Whoop, look at him. Okay, so here we go. He wrote everything down. The ad is basically for condos built for the Anokubi Contract Company. Probably said that wrong. And their campaign is obviously Little Red Riding Hood, who is also known as Abuki Chan. She brings the campaign to the forest where each animal needs a different amount of space. Um, apparently we have the rabbit, the bear, the deer, what the f else ever it was in that thing because it's Japanese and kind of creepy. And the space is known as sun. It's 1.2 inches. I swear the sun was a bit bigger than that, but if you measure it with your thumb in the sky, you... The tanuki means more space because of his big balls. I am assuming that means that raccoon. So that raccoon is known as a t t t t It's a raccoon. So we have big balls, boobs, and this whole thing. What kind of ad campaign is this? I mean, seriously, who wrote it? Me write down everything with tiny pen because everything in this country is really small. Or that could be China, not sure. Hmm, tentacle porn is commercial. We did that already. Hmm, ooh, how about Little Red Riding Hood? She could be 12 years old. Oh, good idea. So we might want to have that guy's basement checked, you know, just saying. Well, as you can see here, I'm obviously a husky. In case you got confused. And I just don't like doing a lot of things. So don't ask me to do them. And in this video here, we can clearly see Blaze the Husky does not want to go in the kennel. Hmm, I wouldn't want to go either. Kennel time. Kennel time. It's not what you say. Say no. Kennel time, Blaze. Come on. Kennel time. Holy sh 
oh my, my God, I mean, <laughs> Wow, this video has 9 million views. Oh uh, dang, this, it kind of actually sounds like me a little bit. Wanna go out and have some fun? No. Wanna go to a convention? No. Wanna have our sketches done? No. Wanna go get drinks, it's on me. <laughs> yeah, let's go, man. I mean, this husky has it right. With all due respect, I wouldn't want to go in the kennel either. And chances are, that kennel could be some sort of BDMS thing and be shipped to Japan, where that guy who made the Japanese commercial is. Goodbye, everybody, and thanks all for watching another episode of FBF. Make sure to favorite and comment and subscribe below. And as always, keep supporting the fandom, much like beer at cons is very much supported. Goodbye! Thank you, everybody, for watching another episode number two. Well, of course, I have to tell you to make sure to watch the descriptions below has the full length, because we can't fit it inside this video, obviously. And you want to make sure to, you know, do all the other stuff the Cypher says. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and hopefully you like the shortness of this video.